Hi, thanks for watching. This is Tim Clapham from Lux, and this is a few uh, quick tips when working with textures and materials in Cinema 4D. First thing we're going to take a quick look at is working with um, missing images. So you've probably come across the fact when you hit render um, and Cinema 4D comes up with an error. Uh, probably something like this. So my dialogue's over here, but there we go. So I've got some JPEG or other .jpeg missing image, but you might have quite a few listed in here. And one of the problems is finding where those textures are to either update them or to change them. So if I look on this missing image material, first of all, if we go to the color channel, we've got some JPEG or other. We've got the same image in the diffuse and also in the bump. It's not too bad in this example because they're at the root level of the material, but these might be uh, much deeper down inside some other shaders. So what we can do is we can come up to the window menu, come down and choose Selection, Structure, Info. As soon as you choose this, in the Attribute Manager, you can see that we now have um, the object information. And what we need to do is click where it says Textures. This will then list all the textures that we use in this document. If you come down to the bottom here, we've got the option Reload Texture, Reload All Textures, Edit Texture, just as you would inside the uh, material itself. And we've also got Mark Missing Textures. And if we do that, it will put a cross or a tick. And obviously the cross means that that texture is missing. So if we've got some missing textures, how do we uh, find those and fix it? Well, what you can do is you can click on the missing textures and then you can click on the small ellipsis button here. And that's just as if you were going to load a new material or texture um, into one of your materials. Once you click the button, a dialog will pop up and you then navigate to the texture that you'd like to find. And in this example here, I'm going to uh, load in the same texture that I've already used. So let's just click open. It will then prompt you if you want to replace that texture in the whole scene. And I'm going to click yes. And it will tell you it's replaced a certain number of times. In my example, three times. And you can see now that this texture is updated and it's the same as this. Then you might think, oh, hold on a minute. Actually, I wanted to uh, replace that texture in my document with something else. Well, you can do exactly the same thing. Select it in uh, the Attribute Manager. Click on the Ellipsis button and then select the alternative and then click Open. It will ask you again if you want to replace that. Just click Yes. And there you go. I've replaced that seven times. The editor updates and you can see that I've managed to replace that bitmap in all of those materials, in all of those channels, and wherever it is in any shaders within this document. Pretty handy stuff. Now the other tip I wanted to uh, show you was how to change um, a material that's referenced in specific tags throughout your scene. So in this example I've got our red, green and blue materials, and if we just um, switch these planes off for a moment and unhide this null. You can see in here I've got uh, some cubes that I've made with um, MoGraph but I've actually made it editable and changed it so that it's like quite a complex hierarchy and we've got all these different objects and the thing is not all of them use the same color. So if we try to uh, select the tags to update them um, some of them are going to be red and some are blue. What happens if we only want to change the blue tags well, it's actually pretty easy. All you do is you select the material in the Material Manager and you come to the Functions menu and come down and choose Select Texture Tags Objects. As soon as we do that, it automatically selects the objects and the texture tags which use this material. And we can see in our Attribute Manager, it's selected 199 elements. The first element under the Tag tab is Material and you can see that's set to blue. So if we want to change this to our green material, we literally just take our green material, drag it over and drop it on. And there we go. So you can see that's like a two click process to change 199 texture tags. So I hope you found those two tips useful and keep coming back to hellolux.com and I'm sure there'll be plenty more tips in the future. Thanks for watching.